Today we'll be making a simple fire like the one you see here. The one you see here is a little bit aggressive in how much it goes upwards, but it's very easy to change them around to your personal preference. And here we are in a empty Unity project. The finished project with the VFX system that we're going to be making will be down below in the description on my Patreon. If you want to just get a particle system or you want to compare yours to mine. For now, we're going to get started with adding a new visual effect, visual effects graph. And we'll just call this fire. If you don't have the visual effects graph enabled yet for some reason, you can come up here to window and package manager and down here under the V you can find visual effects graph and you can add it if you need to. I'm just going to drag this into the scene so that we can see what we're working with and then I'll double click to open up the editor and dock that in here so that we can have these side by side. First and foremost, we're going to need to spawn a lot more of these things. So I like setting this to 150 and then the capacity can be something insanely high, something that it's never going to reach, like 3000, right? So now we're spawning a lot more particles. This is all being done through the GPU, so you can get away with spawning in and having a lot of particles working. Then setting the velocity, random per component, we can actually keep this because it's already more or less doing the movement we want. You can play around with the X and Z if you want your fire to be less spread out and more pillaring upwards. And the lifetime is a little bit too long, so we're going to set that to be between half a second and a second and a half. Then we're going to add a set position uh, from Sphere. Because right now they were spawning all at the same position, and that doesn't look particularly good for what we're doing, so... It doesn't have to be a very big sphere, so we can turn the radius down a fair amount here. Something like 0.2-ish. That makes it just feel a little bit more random because it introduces a little bit more randomness. And then we're also going to add a set size, which we're going to be using a little bit later. Uh, I like to set this to about one5 but again, we'll return to this for fine-tuning a little bit later. In the update particle, we're going to add a turbulence force. Here you can experiment with whatever you like, really. Uh, I like setting the drag down a little bit lower to something like 0.7. And everything else can remain more or less the same. Except that we're going to add a one more node here. And that is add a velocity. Because we're making a fire... We wanted to start rising up a little bit slower, so that's the speed we're seeing right now. But as the fire particles go upwards, they should start gaining speed. And we can simply do that through adding a little bit of velocity on every frame. And we'll add something like 0.03. That might be a little bit too much, so maybe we can bring it down a tiny bit. Downside there being is that this is actually frame rate dependent so if your frame rate or your time scale changes that's not great so what we'll do instead is outside of the particle update we'll add a delta time for the vfx and we'll get a float as well when we multiply those together that makes the speed increase frame rate independent so now we can make this a lot bigger of a number as well so something like two and now, no matter what happens to the frame rate, this will remain as 2. And that already brings us to the output particle quad we have here, which this is how easy it can be. So we're just going to simply change this main texture from default particle to simple smoke, something that Unity by default provides for us. And from here, if we click on set size over life, we get a couple of options here. And instead of overwriting in the composition, we're going to set it to multiply. This way it actually uses the particle size that we set here. So if we set it very big, you can see it's very big. Again, 1.5 is a pretty good size. And then lastly, we just want the color over life to be changed. So at the very start, it should be more yellowish and a lot brighter. So yellowish orange, very, very bright. And we're going to increase the intensity by quite a bit here. So that looks pretty good to start with. 
and then the end color should be a also still a little orangey but a lot more towards red also slightly more brightness in it but not too much and that looks pretty decent so once we've chosen that we can start playing with the position of this to make it go a little more red a little more quickly so that we can see more of the red color in there as well maybe we made this color a tad bit too bright uh, but that is entirely up to you as to what you actually want to do with what the color should look like also heavily depends on the exposure of your scene and all that kind of good stuff and now that we have this look set up we can go back and maybe see if we want to increase the radius of the spawning locations a little bit more to make it a little bit of a wider flame with what we're doing right here and maybe set the intensity of the turbulence a little higher and the frequency to make it a slightly more energetic and erratic fire this is a little too much and then finally we can see that the particles are rather big when they die which doesn't look very good so instead what we'll do is come down here into this curve and we'll make a curve that goes from zero to one back down to zero or just about zero anyway and then we can start playing with the size again and from here it's literally just fine-tuning to whatever look you want your flame to have in colors in shape in really any way and with my own flames i actually added a light object as well so i added a simple point light into our fire here and just set its position to zero zero and zero so that's at the exact same point i made the temperature much warmer and now if we put some objects near it so put a cube under it for instance if we turn off the sun it'll actually light the cube up as well if we don't add the point light it doesn't do that so this way it actually feels like there is a fire here do be aware though that having a lot of point lights in your scene is pretty computing intensive so do be careful with that and ideally if you want it to really feel like a fire you would make this uh like do a little bit of this through a script and make it flicker but that's a little beyond what we're doing here today with this video this is just about the actual system itself i personally like the intensity to be a little higher on the red for the flames to make it look a lot more like what you expect a fire to be like you don't have to put in too much orange if the origin is very yellow and the end point is very red just by the blending between those two that's going to create the orange flames that you see here and you can see just changing the colors about a little bit actually changes what the fire looks like a lot because i think that this fire looks a lot better than what we had a moment ago so if you want this fire particle system as easy as it is to make yourself there's a link down below in the description to this project file on my patreon for you to play around with and just experiment with and a very big thank you to all of my patrons. You can see them on screen right now. If you want to help out supporting the channel, there's a link down below in the description to the Patreon page.